Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and in this video I'm going to show you how we can import objects from Dynamo into Revit. Uh, this is the first video I create in uh, directive mode, so you can actually see me uh, on the bottom right. So feel free to let me know if that helps with your learning. Uh, I want to open a new Revit file here. I want to go with metric architectural or uh, feel free to go with default metric. Any of the two templates is good. Uh, and before I open my Dynamo file, I would like to type UN for units, go to uh, lengths, and I would like to go with meters, three decimal places, uh, because my dimensions in Dynamo are considered based on meters, so I need to uh, put this on meters too. Otherwise, Dynamo is unitless. So I'll go with OK here. OK, let's open the Dynamo file. So I want to run the file because I had put it on manual. This is my file and uh, as you see I have four geometries here. I would like to use import by geometries. You see that little s at the end and uh, that means that it's going to turn all the four geometries into one. So I would like to go with geometry, connecting that to geometries, run. And now you see that in my Revit file, I have the file here. So, um, a couple of things here. First, in Revit 2022, for some reason, no matter what units we set, it still uh, imports in feet. So if I select a file, go to edit type, and uh, actually here, if you change it to meter, it's not gonna do anything now. So I need to change the factor from feet to meters, which is 0.3048. And as soon as you do that, it's going to be in the right dimensions, okay? Or if you don't want to do this and you prefer to take care of everything in Dynamo, we can directly scale it here. So I can right click, type scale, go all the way down. The scale that we are looking for is the one which accepts geometry as input and the amount, uh, which is the scale amount, as a number. So geometry goes to geometry. We know that it's going to be imported in feet, so I can double click, bring a code block, put the ratio here from feet to meters, and now if I import it, I don't need to adjust the scale in uh, Revit because I already did it in Dynamo. So get back to here. Now this is in right size. The reason you see uh, those dots and everything is that uh, those are actually uh, the dots or the points that I had over uh, here in Dynamo. So feel free to save and close your file so you don't see any extra objects from Dynamo, right? Uh, next question is, how can I assign material under Manage, under Object Styles? go to imported objects, make sure it's very important that you click on the plus sign and the objects go here. So I want to go to material, click once on this right corner, so the three dots show, that's where you need to go. How about I create a new material? I want this to have a kind of a green blue color. So when you create a new material, rename it here. Under graphics, which shows unshaded view, I want to change this to a green blue color. And I'm thinking it's kind of a paint, so I want to um, have it the same color in my rendered view. Okay, so appearance shows in realistic and rendered view. Graphic shows uh, this color in shaded view. Okay. I want to hit OK. Why do I not see it green? Because it's still on hidden line. Change it to shaded and you see it as colored, right? And uh, how about uh, I put a floor here. I have designed this geometry specifically for a floor which is 10 meter by 10 meter. So how about I draw a window? I want to change these numbers to 10 and uh, 10 in here. Okay, so let's say maybe my floor is over there. Uh, so I would like to change this to shaded in the perspective view as well. See that there is some overlap. I want to move 
my object by only one millimeter, which is 0 0.001 up, so there is no overlap. Okay, and if you don't see your object in level one, this part is important. If you don't see your object in level one, move down under view range. I want to hit edit or type VR. Okay, if you don't see your object, it's maybe below what you are seeing. So change the view depth to level below or unlimited because this is level one. Apply and OK. That's just in case you don't see your object here. And then let's say uh, you can just move this. So it's going to be exactly where you want it. So you can uh, just move the pattern uh, and so on. And yeah, that's about it.